Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to the English Empire. Because again, even though we slapped the Scottish in the last episode, no, we don't get anything from the peace deal, despite actively broadcasting the fact that we would very much like this territory. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? So yes, in the last episode, religious um, civil disorder has uh, triggered because Scotland is a bastard and has a bunch of reformed centres of reformation there. So now I get the wonderful job of shitting bricks and trying to keep it together. I do believe, honestly, that the best way of doing this would actually be you say that, say that. Look, we're so close to being actually... So what do I need to end it? 90%. 90% and no rebel... Right, you know what? I honestly think... Are there three centres of reformation for Protestant? Can I fight this in any way, shape or form? Where are they? I think there's already too many there. Protestant Centre of Reformation. Protestant Centre of Reformation. Protestants... Right, shit. I honestly think if you can't beat them, you might as well join them. So fuck it, we're reformed now. Fucking bastard. Apparently none of these are worth anything. That's that's fine. This is this is fine. It's the end of religious turmoil. Yay! There we go everyone. That's a uh, religious turmoil over. Done. I have no idea what the benefit. I've never gone reformed ever. Fever and focus. What the hell is this? Reformed covers a wide range of religious traditions inspired by men such as Jean Calvin or John Knox, generally appearing later than the religion the religions class classified as Protestant. The reformed religion also rejects papal authority and wants to return the rules and scriptures. Uh, sorry, wants to return to the rules of the scriptures. Unlike the Protestants, they embrace a number of perceived more hardline ideas such as predestination and I iconclasm and will not form state churches. What the fuck is this though? Possible advisors plus one, that's nice. Tolerance of heretics, that's also nice because of course we're a colonial power. So that will actually come in handy. What is this? Enabling fever and focus on trade will cost five points of fever and will then withdraw the same amount of points each month, each month while having it enabled it will give the following effect. Oh my god. So I can boost things. Look at that 10% boost to morale both army and navy. Focus on stability. Unrest down, Diplo Repper. Oh my god, so I'm... I'm pretty happy with this. Got a finance reform. One base tax. Uh, we lose a bunch of stuff. Where are we? With a fifth great power. Yeah, that's about right. Oh no, there's been a hunting accident! Her body has been draped. By whom you do not know. In a white cloth, now stained red by her lost vitae, they say she was found by her horse in a clearing in the woods. You know the place they speak of. Her face is calm, almost serene. You reach out to touch her. The terrible reality of the situation dawns on you. The cold you feel is that of death. Oh well, fucking Mary Orr's dead. We've only got and got fucking Henry Frederick, lads. <laughs> Oh well, Mario's dead. I'm over it. 
Right, I need to make up money to pay back my loan. I've taken a small loan of a million ducats. <laughs> Terrace on naval surprise. Su surprise? Surprise! No. Tax it. More money. More fun. Right. Oh my god, look at that. So we can have a hundred stored and then we can burn through them focusing things like trading or warfare. That is very nice actually. That is that is awesome. The the Caribbean is giving me money again. Thank you. Act of uniformity. Yes, why would you not do that? Uh I have to accept that. Turn Jamaica into a city. Yes, I will take that. Let's see, I've got another colonist somewhere. Apparently he's come back from Jamaica. Look at this. So if we recover our prestige, we can actually afford to just do one of these the entire time. That's insane. Trade. Yeah, look, we're losing none. And we've got a permanent boost to our trade. That's insane. Look at that. So we've got 10% more efficiency and 10% more trade power. I'm liking where this is going, and we're actually gaining now. Why have I never gotten this religion before? <laughs> I've never done reformed, ever. Who am I to stop them? Who am I to stop them? Welcome, friends. Oh, shit. So that's, uh, this, this has taken an interesting turn. More trade rate, more colonists as well. City upon a hill. That's going to be very nice. England rules the world. Fortification effort, a wise decision. Ah, that's, that's fine, clergy. You don't have to do anything. Uh, I do need to pay off my loan. Because uh, the interest is now killing me a little bit. Look at that, we're losing a ducat. Ducat every month course it costs more to pay it off now because the interest we've accrued on the loan. Jamaica's going to turn into a city soon. Uh, I'm bribing someone else. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm trying to pay off a loan. <laughs> oh dear. So uh, it would look like um, I do want to eventually get around to India but it looks like I might have to just go and slap Castile in the face before I can do that. I mean, he is only allied with me and Portugal. Portugal, I can deal with. That is okay with me. Who else would be willing to ally me? This guy is looking pretty big. Look. Look at that. Dish I think that might form Hanover at some point. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Sweden, I'm not supporting your independence, buddy. Yeah, I honestly believe it might be time to turn our back on Castile the Mediocre. Because, I mean, he's just a bit shit, really, isn't he? Jamaica! Yes! Jamaica is self-sustaining now. Start getting Haiti. The heretics of Northumberland have been converted. Can we, uh... Can we go exploring now? We can reach that, yes. Off you go. Where's my other navy? Where's the other one? There's meant to be a navy here somewhere. They're all the way over... What the fuck are they doing over here? They're meant to be down here, for fuck's sake. I'm going, where's my colonial navy gone? And they're just not there. <coughs> my throat's dying a bit as well, as you can tell. Um, hooray! We can pay off our loans. Much, much money. More tax. Do we? Yeah, why not? 
So we're going to get uh, buffs to our army next. Those are the last uh, buffs we've got. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, look. Castilian South Africa. Right, well, it's good to know that Castile, as weak as they are, have actually colonised for me. Because I don't have to do fucking anything now. I can sit back and enjoy it. Actually, why am I fucking guarding that for them? They've got their own army. Guard it yourself, you bastards. You're right. I'm going to put the plan into motion. I think we betray Castile. It's been fun. It's You're at war with Morocco again. Look who you're at war with. Morocco, to Jared and shit. No. No, I'm not even waiting for the call to arms. No. You're shit. I hate you. You're just a burden. I'm going to kill you. It's, it's set in stone now, people. I am going to invade my old ally. And I'm going to invade him hard. I want all of this land. I want all the colonies. All of them. Maybe even take his mainland as well. That would be insane. This is what's going to happen though. This is the plan. I'm betraying him. It's happening. Ooh. It's a shame it had to end like this, Castile. We could have done great things together, but unfortunately you've had a shit game. And as such, I am going to have to invade you. Sorry about that, old chap. There's focusing trade power. 16 ducats a month. This isn't even my final form. Who died? There you go. Push it to the English Channel, my friend. Pushing all of the trade to the English Channel, yes. Could do with uh, colonising that, actually. Yeah, I need to start on uh, America proper. Colonists plus one, actually. We can do that right now. You know, um, don't want to favour metriocracy or grant art commissions. We'll wait. We can wait. I'm patient. 90 colonists a year passively. That's nice. That is very nice. Another one. Trade efficiency up. Yeah. More money. More fun. Go on Pacific South. Here we go. We are just going to snowball from now on. I mean, I'm seeing how weak Castile is, and I'm like, yeah, I really fancy a slice of that, honey. So let's get Spy Network going. France, you're off the hook. Don't care about you. France, honestly, is pretty dead to me at the moment. I don't care about them. It's been too long, basically. I gain nothing. The only thing I could possibly do to France that would be worth my while is taking Picardy and these two, just to kind of make it harder for him to colonise and limit his um, naval power quite a lot more. That's the only thing I could bother doing that would be worth my time. There you go, Pacific South. I could get um, the Falklands. Get Argentina rolling. That further and focus on trade. Yeah, we like the trade. We're England. We like the money. Generals concerned by our unmanly tactics. Our focus on the defensive is robbing our units of the alarm they need to truly be successful on the battlefield. Our generals are deeply concerned about this, and there are rumours that other countries sniggered about us behind our back. Who cares what others think? I'm fucking Britain. I've got the biggest colonial empire, boys. <laughs> That's uh, that would be my reaction. Although that being said, Portugal is now starting to really poke Africa. He's he's testing the waters a bit, isn't he? That's okay. We're gonna take his as well. All the colonies are mine, basically. Uh, you then, Saint Martin. Don't need you, you're a waste of resources. Oh shit, the king is dead. Our king is dead, boys. 
got Henry Friedrich Lancaster as the, uh, the heir to the throne now. Okay. Well, we're in a good place. I don't even want that there either. I am preparing. I'm preparing. As soon as that truce is up, I want to try and take something. He hasn't managed to secure another ally. I am in a Regency Council though, so I get a bit more time to pick my target. I'm thinking... Around here would be nice. And actually, we're at war with Portugal as well. You know, actually I've got a lot to do, thinking about it. Fuck me, we don't need as many leaders as we do, that's just killing us. Right. I actually do have a lot to do, actually, before I can invade. There's a lot of stuff I need to do. I'm in no shape to invade him. I don't know what I've been thinking. I'm just going to rock up and be like, Tally ho, old chap, how's it going? It's me, your old ally, England. By the way, we're invading you. You're dead now. Goodbye. No, it's not going to happen like that. It's not going to happen like that. It's, it's Castile. He might be mediocre, but he's got put the Portuguese on his side as well. I need another navy. I need another navy. Ten heavies. Twenty of these. Twenty of these. Fifty ships. And navy. That's what I need. I need one of those. I need more navy. Is what I need. I can't fight him on equal terms at the moment. It's, it's Castile and Portugal and their colonies. So uh, I need to man up properly before I can go in there and think about doing shit. <clears throat> of course, coastal blockade on siege, that is very nice. That is what I'm going to take first. Because that is very powerful. And that will help me when I go to war against him. Good news is, uh, we're making a shitload of money off every... Th war is coming. War is coming against who? I need a new ally as well. Who's strong that will ally me? Absolutely fucking no one. Magnificent. He's, he's shit anyway. I mean, if France thinks they can take me, then let them come. Honestly, I don't care. I do have a magnificent plan in place, though. We are going to seize everything from Castile. And we are going to make him cry. Completely. This is a magnificent plan. And it is going to be great. Here we go, our new ships. New ships, new ships. How I love the new ships. Boom. There you go. I need another 10. Hello. Another merchant. Oh yeah, that, more discipline as well. This is, this is going to be great. This is going to be a knockout move. So, uh, he has actually come over to, uh, North America a bit. So I can, uh, go and take that. Actually, the colonies should deal with that. There you go. Something there, self-sustaining. Nice. Oh, look, he's over here now. I wasn't expecting that. Northeast Pacific, map it. Now you see, I would, I would build one of these, but I'm gearing up for war here. It's like, there's, there's a lot better use of my resources here. I need this new navy pronto, basically. Oh shit!
Ah. Oh. Yeah. Um. You see, that that is not ideal. Um. Fuck. Shit me. Right, everyone go, everyone go. Right. You there, you cheeky bastard. At the very least, I can shit on the Scottish. I believe if we play this right, we might get away with only giving up the French territories, which is okay. Fudge me! This is not going to be fun. Okay. Spy networks, because we need to get through this as quick as we can. The Polish aren't with us this time, though. I think we're pretty fucked. Denmark is threatening our trade superiority. At the moment, I have slightly bigger concerns, I'll be honest. Okay. Can I get over there? No, because the fucking Scottish are there. One of my colonies has finished, that one. Well, colonise that. England is at war. Okay, we're going to sink the Scottish fleet, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Caught him. I say fleet, it's one boat. Right. We can definitely fight him here. Actually, can we get better advisors? And maintenance, morale of art. Fifteen ducats a month. Fuck it, we need it. We need it! Raise the war taxes! Extra money. Off we go. Right, you're stuck over here with me now. I'm not happy. Right, let's get that ship around. I didn't upgrade the forts in um, mainland France. That is a mistake. Right. 1v1 me, son. Smash you. Get smashed. Smasherific. We've won our colonial debate. Go. Go, 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 go. Go. Kill him. Normandy is gone. We've killed all the Scots. Sieged out their capital. Ugh, it's a disgusting war. This is not going to be fun. This is really not good. I have, uh, oh no. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Excellent. Right, everyone over here. Inverness. Go, 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 go. Everyone cross over. Yeah, good, 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 good. More conversion. Actually, what am I doing? What am I doing, boys? War! I could turn the wall on. <laughs> no, war. Definitely war. We need the war. We need the warfare. That's become self-sustaining. Bloody marvellous. Colonise that as well. It's not a great use of our resources, but fuck it. I'm not planning on winning this war. I'm planning on a limited success. Once again, we've shown that we can just shit on the Scottish. Yeah. That being said, look, we are coming back a little bit. I'm pointing at the monitor, but no one can see me. We are, we are coming back a bit in terms of balance here. What, 
military. France has a military tech ahead, though. How significant is that tech? A bit. Yeah. I don't know. Right, limited success against the Scottish. Really? Could take Lothian. Now nah, we'll take Air Air Shear. You can give me war reps as well, my friend. Right, so this means we can now cross over here freely. We don't have to boat every time. Excellent. Although, not too excellent, because uh, the French are here. And we don't have an army. Right. Let's see what they want for peace. Bordeaux. Camerich. Morbihan. What? Where are they? Oh, Morbihan there. Where's Camerich? Camerich. Oh, that. That's, um, that's Austrian land. That's actually a fairly decent peace offer. Because there is no way we're winning this war. At all. Look at that. That's, no, I'm not, I can't fight that. So, we'll take, we'll take the shameful defeat. We'll take the shameful defeat. Oh, it's about, it's too late now. Although he is fucking brilliant. Okay. You know what, we lost some land. We've gained others. So, I'll be willing to take that. I've completely forgotten I meant to accept Irish culture. <laughs> like, years ago. Education for a king. Uh, warfare must be the prime concern. France has shown their hand, boys. And in turn, we shall show France ours. We will not be... Uh, will not be stifled. You know, we won't be held back, England. It is our time to rise. And rise we shall. You know, we are we are mighty. And we will take no prisoners and kill them all. And do all that good stuff. Where am I losing a general? Christopher Lester. Uh, no. Don't even need that army anymore. <clears throat> Christopher Lester can go. We're over the leadership limit a little bit. Just oh my god, he's still going. Wow. More taxes. Money fixes everything. Right. So that that was unfortunate. We uh, we took a bit of a defeat there. I know it's been a bit of a longer episode, but uh, stuff was happening. So I got a bit into it. Um it could go better. It really could. Um, we've lost some land there. Uh, the plan to um, the plan to invade uh, Castile, though that is uh, that is still on. I still believe I can do that, even with this minor setback. So um, yeah, it's still the fifth world power. So we'll see what we can do. So thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.